What up guys, Spider Bite here, giving you a little update again on a progress on Clash of Clans. We talked a little bit about the clan, we talked about uh, my base, and I've fully, well not quite upgraded everything, but I do have now all my units in place. It's It was the air defense that uh, that I didn't have here, I tried to click on it on my iPhone. So there's the air defense that I added yesterday, and I redesigned my base to include the air defense inside. Uh, so I, who, I do have the two archer towers, uh, my mortar. I upgraded my clan castle. So we're now at clan, 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 excuse me, clan castle level two. So we can now hold 15 units in here. And uh, my clan mates have kindly given me uh, several archers here. Level three, four, and five archers. Um, now, I know some people have asked and, and are wondering, you know, how much money did you spend on this game? I only spent money initially in order to get my five builders huts okay I haven't spent a dime since and I did have some extra like a hundred or something extra gems left over um, when I purchased you know I purchased the gems in order to uh, buy my builders huts but that's it that's it that's all I've, I've put into it the rest has just been raiding I've been raiding a ton I've been raiding hundreds and hundreds of thousands of uh, gold as well as elixir in order to complete all these upgrades so I'm almost complete all my wall upgrades to level four I still have a few probably about uh, 12 I think I have 12 walls left to upgrade so another 120,000 gold um, and I think I'm, I'm almost ready to upgrade my town hall like I said I've been focusing on resource collection on my attack so if we look at my attack log um, you know I've been using <laughs> what I did accidentally you know that little uh, tip I showed the other day where you actually queue up your barracks with the uh, the wall breakers, right? Well, I accidentally, I had that done and I went into battle and I came back and I accidentally gemmed the completion of 20 wall breakers instead of canceling them. So I've just been focusing with the wall breakers uh, and, uh, and giants and the goblins. So I'll grab the wall breakers to break into the walls. I'll grab the giants off to uh, create a distraction to the enemy's defenses, and then I just send in, like, you know, this one here uh, with Alex. I sent in a slew of goblins just to grab the resources. So uh, sometimes I've been successful, sometimes not. I think I accidentally clicked on this one for Alpha Richie. But um, what's missing here in the log are the ones before this where, you know, I grabbed 100, 190,000, I think, Actually, between two attacks, I had 260,000 gold and 195,000 elixir in two different attacks. And that's how I've been able to build up my base. Like I said, I got to Town Hall Level 4 Sunday morning. And I'm ready to upgrade uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning because I only have, as far as my elixir upgrades left, I have one barracks um, up here. So I'm currently upgrading my other two barracks. I have one barracks here to upgrade to level six <clears throat> i've got one more research to do here for the uh the wall breakers the giants uh, are going to be done here in uh, just over 11 hours and uh, one more upgrade on gold storage so i have uh i think i have what yeah there's a fifty thousand upgrade here and a hundred thousand so i can't upgrade the hundred thousand i have a fifty thousand upgrade left so that's it for elixir for the gold um, I got to finish off the walls. I got to do another upgrade on the Alexa storage, which I'm upgrading right now. Uh, I got my cannon still, and I've only been uh, upgrading one defensive unit at a time because uh, if when you're upgrading these units, like the mortar, it becomes inactive. You can't, like, it doesn't fire while you're upgrading it. So I only want to do one at a time. So I have at least everything else defending while that's being upgraded. So I do have my two cannons uh, as well as my archer tower left to do. And, uh, and the four Lexer Collectors, I gotta bring up one level. But the thing is, the Town Hall takes two days to upgrade. So I gotta wait two days. So I figure if I set it up tonight, <clears throat> by Friday night, that I'll have everything else already upgraded by then. And when my Town Hall turns to level five, then I'll be ready to go and already likely have resources to start upgrading things at the Town Hall level five. So that's my that's my thinking here. There's no reason to wait. If I wait until everything else is done and then I upgrade the Town Hall 5, then I got two days of waiting where I can't do anything. All I can do is attack and, you know, I'm, I'm just going to have max resources and I'm not going to have anything to do with them 
So that's my thinking there. But as far as the base design, like I laid this out on a site. I can't remember what the site name is. I'll probably uh, bring that up next day. It's Clash of Clan Builders or something.com. But uh, you can actually, you know, you can set your town hall level and configure all your buildings and your walls. And that's what I did. That's how I configured the space. I mean, it's not entirely symmetrical. I know, you know, symmetry is key, but um, I think it does the job. And uh, as I spoke yesterday, anybody who's attacking now has to go through uh, two, well, three levels of walls. Three walls in order to destroy everything and 100% me. Including, I know some people said this is kind of a dick move, but um, to put my uh, builder's huts in the four corners so um, we could have a, uh, a defense uh, and you saw yesterday that uh, there was like one second left where I could have got defeated and I defended. So just going to replay the, um, let's replay this. I lost, uh, I lost this one here with, uh, he used 40 barbarians and 20 archers. So let's replay this, but he didn't get any resources. That's the thing. Um, you know, if he was going just for the attack, I guess. And I think, I think this was when my mortar was being upgraded. So he just went to town with the barbarians and the archers. So he brought in all the barbarians first and then all the archers uh, afterwards. And like I said, my mortar was being repaired, so it's not it's not firing at all. So I, I probably could have defended, obviously, a lot better uh, if my mortar had been had been active. There's some uh, I think I have some minions there as well that are defending. But uh, so he breaches that first wall, gets into where you know he's using the archers to attack my um, my town hall, which you know is good. I think uh, once they bring down your town hall, they automatically get a win or a victory or whatever. Um, so that's obviously what he was intending here. And I think if I had my mortar, my mortar had been upgraded, that uh, I probably would have been able to to defend that. But I think that's something that I'm going to consider when I get to Town Hall 5 and I have some additional buildings and additional walls that I'm going to reconfigure so that my Town Hall is not such an easy target uh, like it was there. So that was just one defense. And then we had another defense here against this guy, Bambalord. So let's replay that one. And I defended very well. So at this point in time, my mortar had been upgraded and I was actually upgrading, currently upgrading my air defense. And uh, he sends in, like, a lone balloon. I'm not sure why why he did that. And another lone balloon. I think I think he has to work on his, on his attacks. So then he's got a bunch of giants, and then he sends in the goblins, which I do. But I don't really think he realized how few resources I had. So he sent in all these goblins. And, you know, the end result... Now let's go four times here. The end result is I defend pretty easily. I mean, he takes out almost everything I'm on the outskirts of my base, but when you look at the amount of resources that he took from me, is like, <clears throat> yeah, was it really worth it? I mean, he's got two, three, four, five, five thousand elixir worth just of uh, the wall breakers and the giants, and that's assuming they're only level uh, one and two. I mean, they could very well be level two and three. I'm not sure how much the balloon guys, the balloon wall breakers guys cost, but uh, yeah, I don't think he really got his money worth money's worth on that attack and I got 30 trophies out of it so that's it that's it so like I said I think the next video you see I'll probably be in progress for upgrading my town hall and I should have uh, much more of this the, the entire wall should be completed and I will be in progress on upgrading some other things uh, well on my way to completing everything prior to the town hall being upgraded to level 5 that's it guys what do you think I think it's a pretty solid, you know, it's a pretty good base design, and I don't keep anything in my collectors, like my gold mines and my elixir collectors. I try to move stuff out. The, again, the only time that they really have much of anything is, you know, after I've been sleeping for a few hours. So, that's it. What do you guys, you know, leave a comment. Um, if you guys have any uh, uh, comments about uh, my current base design, and uh, what do you think I should uh, go with when I upgrade to uh, Town Hall Level 5. That's it for now. I'm Spider and I'm out.